حجت الاسلام و المسلمین مهدی کروبی کاندیدت فور دی 10th پرزیدنشیل الیکشن اند سکرتری جنرال اف دی نشنال تراست پارتی sent a letter on the 6th of April to the Guardian Council strongly protesting against remarks made in support of Mahmoud Ahmadinejad by Ayatollah Ahmad Jannati during a meeting which Jannati had with the Council's election observers. According to Saham News, the official website of the National Trust Party, in his strongly worded letter, Karubi said that Jannati's remarks contravened the policy line announced by the leader of the Islamic Republic. In his letter, Karubi referred to the legal status of the Guardian Council safeguarding religion, the law and its unique status, and noted that the observers of that council must be completely impartial and must safeguard the Guardian Council's legal status and an observer who takes sides is not an observer but a player. Addressing Ayatollah Ahmad Jannati, the chairman of the Guardian Council, Karubi wrote, at a meeting recently held with the 22nd Khordad election observers of the Guardian Council, you praised one of the election candidates a person who is right now the head of the government and lauded his policy of eliminating poverty, discrimination and reduction of deprivation. This is a blatant violation of the legal status of the Guardian Council, coming at a time when the esteemed leader, in his important speech on the occasion of the start of the new year in the holy city of Mashhad, on the 21st of March, emphasized that all government bodies must be impartial in the upcoming election, and that private votes should be separated from the legal duties of government institutions and organs. Stating that what Janati had done was to change the identity of the Garden Council by turning a legal institution into a political party, Karubi wrote, I give myself the right to be concerned about the healthy staging of the election. Indeed, when the most senior member of the Guardian Council defends a specific candidate in the presence of the Council's own election observers, what can we expect young observers to think except that that specific person should be the winner of the June 12th election? Karubi also considered that what Janati had done provides a pretext which will be exploited by the foreign media and asked him where and by whom should complaints be received. They, that is, the foreign media, have not only accused the Guardian Council, but also the system of bias in the election. Should we not be defending the integrity of the system in this regard? The Guardian Council was established so that if a government body or a group broke the rules, that council would receive the resulting complaints. Now, where and to whom can we complain against Mr. Giannati, the Honorable Chairman of the Guardian Council? Karubi then pleaded with other members of the GC, saying that he had no option but to ask them to notify Jannati about this issue. He added, I emphasize that entering the election race, especially in this round, involves many problems which mainly stem from inter- and intra-factional rivalries. According to Saham News, Karubi concluded his letter by referring to his own problems in past elections, saying, in this and in past rounds of elections, groups supporting me and also officials in charge of the executive and supervisory boards were very unkind to me. I tolerated this and I have been faced with the law being violated and the votes of the people being disregarded. But I warn that I will openly confront any signs of rigging and impartiality on the part of the executive and supervisory bodies. And I will share this with the people and the leader and will not permit the rights of voters to be trampled underfoot. The outcome of the election could be contrary to my vote. And anyone who wins the votes of the people is the legal president of the country. And we too respect the people's votes. But we will not give in to any transgression. Karubi's concluding remarks are a reference to events associated with the presidential election of 2005 when he stood as a candidate. According to himself, after he slept for a few hours on the night of the vote counts, he woke up to find that he had dropped to the third place, whereas before he slept, he was ahead of Ahmadinejad in the race. After this event, Karabi resigned from all his state positions, including his membership of the Expediency Council. He protested strongly against rigging and even complained to Khamenei in a letter that the leader's son had appeared at Ahmadinejad's election headquarters and had expressed his support for him. Sometime after his resignation, Karabi resumed his political activities within the system of the Islamic Republic by establishing the National Trust Party.